Are you looking for a straight to the point explanation about the lymphatic system, but are having a difficult time finding it? In this video, as a practitioner, I'll be sharing an easy to follow explanation about the lymphatic system and its three major components. The lymphatic system is an extensive drainage network that helps to keep bodily fluids balanced, similar to a city's sewer system. It defends against infections as airports and border controls play a critical role in monitoring and regulating who and what enters a city, ensuring the city's safety and security. The lymphatic system is composed of lymphatic nodes, or lymph nodes, lymphatic vessels, and lymphatic organs such as the spleen, the tonsil, the thymus, etc. The primary function of the lymphatic system is to transport lymph. Lymph is a fluid containing infection fighting white blood cells throughout the body. Just as police and military vehicles are tasked with maintaining safety and order by transporting security forces where they are needed most, the lymphatic system plays a key role in immunity and removing waste from our cells. What are lymph nodes? A lymph node is a small bean-shaped organ. Lymph nodes act like checkpoints or surveillance points, just as airports or borders of a city or country. Lymph nodes filter lymph, catching and neutralizing foreign substances like bacteria, viruses, and foreign particles, ensuring that they do not get reintegrated back into the body. So the spleen, the tonsil, the thymus, are all operating as cleaning stations. They filter and process bodily fluids and immune cells. The spleen filters blood, the thymus produces T cells, and the tonsils trap pathogens. Together, they work in bolstering the immunity to fight infections and disinfect, similar to the disinfection stations at a sewer plant that deals with wastewater. The lymphatic system redistributes three liters of fluid daily back to the bloodstream. Without this, your lungs could drown, your blood pressure would fluctuate, and your limbs would swell. Elephantiasis is extreme swelling, usually of limbs, genitals, due to blockage of the lymphatic system, often caused by mosquito-borne parasites. What are lymphatic vessels? Lymphatic vessels are tiny tubes that carry lymph. They serve as the transportation routes, similar to how police and military vehicles move security forces to where they're needed most. These vessels ensure the efficient and swift movement of white blood cells to areas of infection and injury for defense and healing. The lymphatic system is similar to sewer pipes, forming a network that carries lymph from body tissues back to the heart. Similar to the sewer pipes that transport wastewater away from homes, the lymphatic vessels transport lymph for filtration and cleansing back to their respective nodes. What is the thymus? The thymus is a small organ this is in the upper chest, right behind the breastbone, but in front of the heart. We can look at the thymus as a training facility for a T cell, which is a type of white blood cell. In this training facility, this is where it matures and is prepared for its specialized immune response. These T cells are like special ops, marine soldiers for the immunity. What is the spleen? The spleen is an organ that is located in the left abdomen under the rib cage above the stomach. We can look at the spleen as the headquarters for immune system activity. It filters blood, it replenishes old red blood cells, it stores white blood cells and platelets. It plays a significant role in immunity in fighting infections. Bone marrow serves as the immune system recruitment center in army, producing a constant supply of immune cells, such as B cells and natural killer cells ensuring a steady supply of troops always ready to fight 
foreign invaders. Understanding the lymphatic system helps us to appreciate this unsung hero of our body and how our body fights infections, maintains fluid balance, and it plays a crucial role in the medical field in treating lymphatic diseases and also surgeries where lymph nodes are impacted. To learn more about manual lymphatic drainage, click on this video right here.